Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're gonna to talk about a very peaceful man chasing a woman down the street and trying to stab her with a big ass chef's blade. This is the year of the mag dump, I'll tell you what. I've made so many videos the past couple of months of officers just dumping their big loads into people's behinds. <laughs> And the video that we're about to break down is no different, lots of dumps. But first, a word from our sponsor, Dr. Squatch. Oh, hi, didn't see you there. Let me ask you a question. Is there someone in your family who smells like the inside of a dead skunk's asshole? And even worse, it's super hard to shop for them during the holiday season? I've got a solution for you. Dr. Squatch's high performance natural products that smell amazing will have your stinky family and you smelling great and looking your best. My favorite is the pine tar. Trust me, shower with this one and your partner will squatch you so hard. New customers get 25% off orders of $40 or more when they use the code DSQI operator 25 they got little bundles and big bundles so it's the perfect gift for family members you like or dislike look I what you to. did you little jerk they got soaps hair care deodorant and more all made with the finest ingredients that mother nature ah. spit out if you're tired of being stinky and having a stinky family then click on the link below and use the code dsq operator 25 baltimore that place that's most known for being that huge shithole from the award-winning television series the wire they had cheese fries baby i got you some Sunday, November 6, 2022, around 3.40 p.m. Officers are responding to an assault call. Little do they know how serious this assault is. Serious is in a peaceful man chasing a woman with a knife. A big ass knife. A chef's blade. Do you guys know I collect chef's blades? I'll show you my favorites. I got this one from Matt Best. This is from Half Face Blades. I have no idea where that came from. And a dude who worked on the weapons for Game of Thrones made this one. But I'm not gonna chase anyone down the streets of Baltimore and stab them with any of those. I love going off the rails like that in videos because it makes the people so mad who just don't like hearing me talk and they just wanna see. <laughs> if you wanna see raw police stuff, you can go to my channel where I put that stuff on there called Donuts Raw Police Footage. Life pro tip, kids. If you don't wanna be shot by police, don't chase people on the street with big knives. Well, a naked man is chasing a woman through an alley with a butcher knife. I shoot the bastard, that's my policy. Let's do shootings. Ooh, this time step donut when he actually shows the shooting. I know what you guys do. I read the comments sometimes. Two police officers in one patrol car arrive on scene and are immediately met with a very hairy situation unfolding directly in front of them. So naturally, they start calling for more units because this shit is f***ing crazy. Hey, send more units, send more, send more units, units, send more units. Send more units! Send more units. Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Officer Zachary Rutherford, who has been with the Baltimore Police Department for three years, jumps into action to kick ass and save lives. He runs up to the suspect who just dove onto the woman while holding said big ass knife and quite accurately lights him up. Much like my last video, the dumping happens and the officer quickly runs out of bullets. Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Shots fired! Shots fired! Let's go! Signal 13, get down! Get down! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Hey, send more units! Send more, send more units! Send more units! Send more units! Send more units. Dude was still moving, so our hero officer puts one more into the guy for good measure, and the muscle memory kicks in to reload his service pistol. Outstanding training, officer. Problem solved, problem stays solved. Rangers lead the way, Honey Badger FTW. To break it down a little more, if you watch carefully, the officer looks like he tries to place himself where he doesn't shoot the woman and starts shooting the guy from the legs up to avoid bullet over penetration into the woman who is about to be turned into sushi. So he's working his way up the body and when the guy rolls off of the woman, that's when he starts doing some center mass shots. Then the suspect points the knife at another man nearby and the officer gives him one more for good measure, which was actually his last round, but he did a great 
job being under that much pressure, dropping his mag and reloading. My first time watching this, I was like, why the hell isn't his partner helping him? He's standing by the police car. In retrospect, there wasn't much he could do from this angle without hitting the lady or someone else, and I later read in reports that he's actually a trainee. Could you imagine being on the force for only a couple of weeks and then your FTO just smokes some dude right in front of him? That's crazy. Don't move! Don't move! Ma'am, are you okay? Don't move! Sir, don't move! Dude, I really don't think he's moving anytime soon. Then again, remember my last video with the random corgi? Or some other dog. You guys said in the comments it was some other dog. It was definitely a random little ass dog just hanging out near the police shooting. Go home to your family. Oh, point behind that is in the last video, that dude got lit up by an entire mag dump and he survived. <laughs> They did everything they could with officers on scene to stabilize old dude, but I don't think that there's any amount of quick clot in the world that's gonna help take the Swiss out of this cheese. You may be asking why I kept in the beginning of the video call him a peaceful man. Well, let me tell you. Sit around, grandpa, kids, we got a story. Peaceful men don't sushi people. Well, the suspect in the video is none other than the dude who went viral a couple of years ago for spray painting no shoot zone on walls all around Baltimore to protest all the gnarly shootings that were happening there. The former gang member figures when he was between 13 and 15 years old, he shot about 20 people. Everyone was getting shot. They're, they're still getting shot. Baltimore's a shithole. I might actually live in Los Angeles over Baltimore. At least there, all I see are homeless dudes dicks. Baltimore, you're, you're gonna get shot. The Wire was a good show though, that was awesome. At 15, I caught a murder. Unfortunately, I shot someone with a gun. The felon who spent 11 years in prison for second degree murder and having a shootout with police said he painted about 200 of these zones all over Baltimore because he was tired of the violence. I think the problem with the incident we just broke down where him trying to stab the lady, he forgot to paint some no stab zones. Which brings me to the most ironic part of this story. The first time this guy went viral in 2017, it was because he went live on Facebook because he had just been stabbed. <laughs> we live in a simulation. Oh just seconds after being stabbed in the neck. Put pressure on it. Put pressure on it. And taking what he thought might be his last breath. Yo, if I die, it's all good. No, it's not Keep good. pushing them zones. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video because that's all I have for you today. You guys are amazing. I want to say thank you to all my patrons. I know there hasn't been much dad on there lately, but you're probably used to it. Donut After Dark is only $1. I'm about to start that hardcore soon. I know I only did a couple videos this month, but December's going to be different. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon, Bunker Branding, they're having a big sale right now still on, on the merch of me, AK Guy, Fat Electrician, all our friends, but buy my stuff, obviously. I hope you guys had a safe Thanksgiving. You're all wonderful, and I want you all to please have a fantastic day. Backer.